A while back I uh, took a drive up north. I was way up north along the Canadian border and uh, it was snowy, it was cold. I was in a very remote part on the um, over there by Lake Erie, I believe. If I'm, it was a while back, but I uh, was in a very desolate area, and I was hungry and had to go, had to take a leak, <laughs> had to pull over. I found this abandoned road, and I kind of like went down it. It went down a little ways. It dead ended. Looked like nobody had used that road in a, in a long time. So I got, I got out and relieved myself. And then I got in the car, got a couple of cans of sardines and a couple of cans of tuna and mixed it up. And then I, uh, I uh, went out, just took a walk out in the woods and I, uh, found a big old tree that had fallen over, looked like years before, and uh, I sat down and started eating, and after a couple of bites, I heard this low growl, and I looked around, and I couldn't see anything, and I'm like, what the heck? So looked around I still couldn't see anything and then I kind of like looked up straight in front of me and my eyes came into focus of this big first I thought it was a dog but then it was clearly it was a wolf and uh, it was a huge humongous beast I've never seen anything that big and uh, I slowly kneeled down and I kind of put the bowl of protein in front of me and I um, kind of like backed away a little bit and looking at the ground, kind of like made a gesture for the wolf to come eat the food. It was like within feet of me. And to my surprise, the big beast came and ate all the, all the tuna and sardines out of the bowl. And we were very close to each other. And I, I kind of like, when he got done, I kind of like looked up and our, he looked up at me and our eyes met and we, for a couple of seconds, like three or four seconds, or I looked right in his eyes, and I, I just this peace came over me. And the dog, the wolf, looked up and howled, and like turned around and like trotted back into the woods. And I was in disbelief. I went back to the car and I got in. I turned the heater on, and I'm just thinking to myself. That thing, that, that beast could have tore me apart. So I, I looked it up on the internet. I googled it. <laughs> and it was a north, north, uh, western wolf. Northeastern, yeah, northwestern wolf. And, uh, which is a Canadian wolf. One of the biggest wolves in the world. And it was, this thing was huge. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, as I'm soaking in the heat in my car, I'm like, that thing could have tore me apart. Why didn't it? Why didn't it kill me? It could have had a better meal, a bigger meal. And I'm like, wow, thank you God, you know? And I just, I guess just because something can kill you and destroy you doesn't mean that it will. And Just because it can, and it knows it can, doesn't mean it will. Now, I know that that, that wolf probably went back to its pack, and he entered the pack, and they probably were licking his face because they smelt all that tuna and sardines on his face. And then I got to thinking, well, maybe that wolf didn't attack me because he was without his pack. 
but I thought back and I'm like, you know, when I looked into that creature's eyes, it was pure dominance. He knew and I knew that he could just kill me and have a better, bigger meal, but he, he gave mercy on me. And that's the way life is sometimes. It gives you, gives you mercy. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, uh, the beast will give you mercy, but it's up to the beast. It's up to the monster, whether they want to or not, because if you think about it, we're all at the mercy of something. My life experience, humans don't like lone wolves. See, a wolf that's in a pack can be seen and heard from a distance. But a lone wolf is very cunning and moves in silence. And you never know where they're at. So is the wolf stronger alone? Or with the pack. I believe that the wolf is stronger alone. Because nobody can tell on him what he does. He's just by himself. And uh, there'll be there's no evidence what he does and so you would think anyway. But wolves that travel in packs are notoriously dangerous. They pick off a sick, usually the sick animal that they can easily catch and uh, kill. It's like that in life too. The herd will pick off somebody who is not that intelligent or maybe has a mental illness and uh, maybe doesn't have a lot of money. And they'll pick off that person that's not so well to do and have their way. Anyway, I guess just because something can kill you and destroy you doesn't mean it will. Have a good day.